up, gang? What up, Smart Rabbit Gang? Today we're gonna talk about something that people have been asking me about for two years now. Asking me to make it. <laughs> Actually, me to make a video on this, and it is how to become a ghostwriter. You know, for rappers, for music artists in general, this is pretty much going to cover all industries. This is how you're going to be able to do this. And I need you to understand a lot of these factors, just people think, oh, I could write lyrics, oh, I could be a ghostwriter. I'm like, you can, but there's a lot more to it than you realize. And we're going to go over that today in this video. So let's just start with this, okay? Number one, you have to have the credibility that you're a good songwriter, and you have to have the ability to make demos. Now you probably already know this and you probably already think you're at that level but the thing is is that a lot of people are really good songwriters and they're good at making demos. To be a ghostwriter you do need to realize that you will be recording rough cuts of these songs and these ideas that you have. If you're capable of creating incredible songs that have amazing melodies, great rhythms and just everything, you're going to need to be able to record these songs in order to show the artist that you want to ghostwrite for what the song would potentially sound like if they were to get on it. Then they hear your demo and they think, okay, cool, I like how this sounds, and they know that they can bring their own energy, their own attitude and their style also to that track and demo, and then they may potentially buy the song from you. When I wrote Jordan Jones' first single, she has like five million followers on Instagram, and she's huge, like a lot of people know who she is. When I wrote that song for her, I actually had to make a demo for her. So I had to mimic what a 16-year-old girl would sound like recording this. I was like, this is what she should sound like when she's recording it. So I imitated a girl, Okay, and I pitched my voice up a little bit. And I'm gonna show you guys an example. I'm gonna show you exactly what this demo sounded like that we showed her and her parents before they recorded this song. Yeah. Even when I heard something get that play, okay, where it works, I'm gonna have my say. You a jerk ain't worth like half my days. Even when I heard something get that play, okay, where it works, I'm gonna have my say. You a jerk ain't worth like half my days. My turn, okay, 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 they first. I'll pass them. I'm dancing, I'm snapping, I kill it, assassin. Her team, when they heard my demo of this song, loved it so much, they were in the studio with me and my team within 48 hours for her to record her version of it. Great new original song for Jordan Jones called Dappin. Think about this. Rappers even create demos of their own songs to show their teams before they make a final version of the song. I've done this for a long time and you would be doing this too. Even if you're a ghostwriter or you really want to be an artist, you're still going to have demos of your songs. A great example is the Eminem Lose Yourself demo. I'll play that demo for you guys and girls. The demo was what he showed Dre before he decided to record the actual Lose Yourself song. And you'll notice it's very similar, but it's just a demo of it before he actually decided to finish it. You better just lose yourself in this music, this moment. We own it, we won't ever let it go. go. I'm telling you all this because I don't want you to think, oh, I could be a ghostwriter because I can just write bars. It's a bit more than that, okay? You need to know actually how to lay this stuff down and how to show an artist what they would sound like on the track. Number two, number two, you have to have a connection to the circle of the rapper or the music artist that you're trying to ghostwrite for. How are you gonna get your song into the ears of an artist that has 10,000 people sending them songs every single day? If you can infiltrate their circle, you can more easily get heard. If you have those great demos, that's a great start, but now you need to get it into the hands of the artist or someone around the artist. Now, in order to get your song or get yourself into the circle in general, I highly recommend that you work on the outside of the circle inwards, okay? You start with their cousin's best friend's best friend or their cousin's best friend, and you befriend that person, talk for, to them about, for about a month, like and comment on all their Instagram posts, everything else like that, and really build a relationship. Then you move to their direct cousin, then smoothly move your way into getting to know the main artist. It's harder than it sounds, but this is how you do it. You start on the outside, and you work your way in one person at a time. I actually have a course, it's a top selling course on the internet for networking. It's called How to Network and Grow 10 Times Faster. I'll put a link below for you guys. I actually put it as an exclusive now inside of the Smart Rapper community. You'll be able to check that out. I show you how to go on Instagram, establish relationships with people, how to find the people that I'm talking about, how to find their cousin, how to find their best friend, how to find all these people and work your way into a circle of artists, okay? All you need is for that artist to hear your song, like it, and want to buy it from you. Once you have one credit, you get more credits. You can say, I got credits with this person, I got credits with this person. And everybody's willing to listen then he's got to start getting those credits too number three you need to consistently produce amazing songs if you think you're somebody who's really special and only had to write like a hundred songs and suddenly you're making hit songs no offense here but you're probably really really well delusional or you're on a heavy amount of drugs well those run hand in hand if you're trying to be a songwriter slash ghostwriter, then you need to be just that. You need to be writing songs on a regular basis. If you've only written a couple songs or less than 100 songs, you probably think 100, if you think that writing 100 songs is a lot, you're insane. 
you're absolutely insane. That is nothing. Now, the reason that you need to be consistently creating music as much as possible isn't only to practice and get better, because obviously you get better with lots of practice. You learn what to do, what not to do, and how to become a better songwriter. But the more that you're creating the songs, the more songs that you have if this moment happens, right? So if you're making enough songs, you'd be like, okay, you suddenly stumble across a song that you make that is like, oh, I could give this to Drake. Drake would love this. Okay, now I got this song over here. Oh, freaking uh, Eminem would love this. You never know, right? You just never know who's gonna love what song. And if you're not consistently creating, then you don't have a plethora or a catalog of songs to show people. Let's say you do get the chance to make it write a song for Drake. Why would you just wanna show Drake one song that you wrote for him or that sounds more for him when if you were working your butt off, you could have five songs, right? And go, hey, I got these five songs for you. He's gonna like one of them. So you need to be consistently writing songs. And if he doesn't buy it, somebody else might. Number four, you don't have to do this now, but I want you to keep this in mind for your long-term plan, okay? It is an amazing idea for you to place yourself or to live somewhere where you can consistently be co-writing songs with other amazing songwriters like yourself. I'm not saying that you have to move to Los Angeles or Atlanta or New York in order to be a songwriter, but it's gonna help you a lot more if you really want it to be your job and it to be more than a hobby. Being somewhere where all of the other songwriters are and all of the other artists are is obviously going to open more opportunities for you to be able to write with more artists, be in the rooms with these artists, connect with the people that are in the rooms with these artists, and really get into these circles and create more and learn faster too because you're with the other professionals who are here. I'm in Los Angeles. That's where these people are. I run into songwriters all the time. I've been in songwriting sessions with huge ghostwriters and songwriters for artists. People that have written songs for Drake. Okay, J. Cole, I've been in the, the studio with J. Cole's artists, people he has signed to his label. People who've written songs for Katy Perry, Miley Cyrus, James Brown, Hilary Duff, like you name it. I've been in the studio with a lot of these people and I've written songs with a lot of these people. And I couldn't have done that if I didn't move to LA. Number five, this is important in general because you are a business as I always teach you here on Smart Rapper but you need to get your business together so that they don't rape you. In the songwriting industry as well as any other form of business in any industry, if you don't know your business and they can tell that you don't know your business, they will try to take advantage of you. They will try to get higher cuts out of you. They will try to put things in the contract or take things out of the contract that give them more power than you have. And they will try to get more money. I've had people try to do that to me and my team many times. Get your publishing together, okay? Copyright your music. Learn how to create demos and how to submit demos without them getting stolen. I have courses on copywriting, trademarking, business, and everything else like that for 100% free inside of the Smart Rapper community. I'll put a link below for you. You guys and girls can go there and check those courses out. It also comes with tons of other free stuff. Lastly, I want to give you I want to give you a little bit of excitement, but you know, not get you too hyped, but I want you to know that this exists. If you're amazing at writing songs, record labels will actually pay for you to live in LA and write songs all day long and they will connect you with other songwriters in hopes that you and the other songwriters will create and vibe and make something amazing. Of course, they take a higher percentage of the, of the songs, but they pay for you to live out here and just create songs all day long. This is actually a very normal occurrence because it doesn't cost a lot for them. If they pay for somebody that's really good at songwriting, if they pay them like twenty or $30,000 to just survive and live in LA and they write one hit song, well, they pay for themselves. If they're making five, 10 songs that, you know, a week, you only need one song to make a million dollars. <laughs> Think about it. You should research that if you're serious about it, okay? You just became a smarter rapper. Quick reminder, I do have that networking course that shows you how to infiltrate circles of music artists, okay? I'll put a link below for that. You can check that out. It's inside of the Smart Rapper community. It's called the How to Network and Grow 10 Times Faster course, all right? You're gonna love that course. And all you need is an Instagram account, which I'm sure that you already have. Check those links below. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there, go kick some butt. I'll see you at the top, gang. Keep hustling. Smart Rapper! Gang!